Hey guys, Kenny Muck up here, and welcome back to another custom minifig video. Um, it's been a bit since I've done one of these videos, so I decided I would do another one uh, since I had a bunch more figures to do. Um, and uh, before we continue on with this video, um, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the past video. Um, all the characters that are going to be in this video are going to be listed in the description. So if you want to skip to a certain character, I uh, usually spend a couple minutes on each character. So you can just sort of skip through the video until you see him or whatever character it is. Um, but the, all the names are going to be in the description. So go ahead and look in there. If none of the characters interest you, then I guess you could just click off the video. But... Um, Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first one isn't really um, a character that exists, really. It This is my own uh, version of Spider-Man. Uh, I wanted to see what Spider-Man would look like in all red and black. And I think it looks pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um we turn it around the back is also in red and black um, so that's pretty cool um, I really like how it turned out I think it looked good and uh, yeah that's uh, that's Spiderman okay the next two characters are in the horror franchise uh, sort of sets of minifigs um, since I've done horror minifigs in the past, like I've done Michael Myers, um, Pennywise from It, uh, I did Jason a long time ago, um, but I don't ever remember making a Freddy Krueger, so I decided I would make a Freddy Krueger, and, uh, here he is, and all his Freddy Kruegering glory, um, I realize you can't really see his face because of the hat, so let's just let's just uh, pop that off real quick. There you go. So there he is. Um, you can see um, he's got his glove on one hand. It's really just Wolverine claws and a brown hand, but I think it was okay. Um, this head was already like uh, messed up. As you could probably see here. Um, so I decided to use it because it did look like it was burned or something. And I just colored the rest of the burn onto his head. And I think it came out okay. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, <clears throat> of course I do prefer to keep the hat on him. Uh, I think he looks better that way. But... He's another character I get to add to my horror minifigs. So, yeah. He's not the only one to be added to my horror minifigs, though, because this next one is Billy the Puppet from the Saw movies. And he should be having an appearance in the new Jigsaw movie that will be coming out. Um, but, there's Billy the Puppet. He always kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, and I wanted to make him in Lego. So, um, I did. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I like how it worked out. Uh, I think the hardest part of this figure was probably doing the swirls on his cheeks. Because I had to do them so tiny and it was so tedious. Um, but I am pretty happy with the end result. Um, and you might be able to see there, the, um, lines on his chin do go all the way down. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's, uh, there's Billy. Okay, moving away from horror and entering sort of the cartoon category, uh, we have Danny Phantom. Uh, I wanted to make a minifig of him because it was one of my favorite shows to watch when I was growing up 
Um, I use a Too Faced hairpiece, as you can probably see there. Um, but I think it looks pretty geek. Blech, pretty gee, what is that? Pretty neat. Um, got the D emblem on his chest. White boot, white boots and gloves, and this belt and this color piece. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's there on the design, so I just decided I put it there. Um, getting a uh, better look at the face. I think I did okay on the face. The eyes look a little too far apart to me. Either that or a little too small, but um, I did what I thought looked okay, but uh, yeah, there's Danny Phantom. Next up is actually a custom character. Um, his name is Clockwork, um, and he's sort of from a cartoon universe that I came up with in my head. Uh, it's in the style of Japanese animation or anime, so you can see his eyes and everything are huge. He's got the hair on the sides of his head instead of having a hair piece because he has a top hat. Um, you could probably tell by looking at the torso, I did use a um, Riddler uh, torso from the Lego Batman movie line because I really liked it. Um, it also rotated his head around to have his goggles on. So you can do that. Uh, he also has the sort of Riddler cane, except it's uh, the, t the uh, hook part at the end is now red instead of green. And um, yeah, I think it came out okay. And the last figure of this video is someone I've already shown before, except the last version of him that I did was really bad. Um, as you'll probably be able to remember if you've seen my minifig videos, is that from time to time, I'll take a figure that I did a while ago, because I think it looks absolutely horrible, and I'll make a new version of it, because I think it looks way better. Um, now this, this one isn't actually too old, um, I think I might have been in one of the one of the last two, maybe even just the last one of my um, Lego minifig videos. But it is Ryuk or Ryuk, however you pronounce it, from Death Note, and um, I really like how this new one came out. Uh, as you can see, he does have the Death Note there. Um, uh, I saw this hairpiece being used on someone else's Ryuk. Uh, on YouTube, he goes by the name The Moose Figs. Um, I saw his use of the Joker hairpiece turn to blue, and I thought, oh my god, that looks awesome. I want to do that. So, <laughs> uh, I already had him, the idea in my mind that I wanted to remake this figure. And I decided I would use that technique. Um, so credit goes for that idea goes to the Moose Figs. Because uh, I, don't, I don't want YouTube beef. Um, but I thought it was a really cool idea. So I decided to use it on my version. Um, he also has other things. Like he has this plate on his back. I don't have any black 1x1 one one clips uh, that I can find. But if I did, then you'd be able to take these wings, and just um, clip them on him like that. Um, but, you know, I don't have those, but it'd look like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And, of course, if you don't want to use them, you can sort of just fold them back or something. Um, but what I mean by remade is... This was his original head, and it looks absolutely terrible, especially compared to the new one. I uh, thought it would be a good idea to use a Ghost Rider head for some reason, and it just looks awful. But this is the new one. Uh, there's Ryuk, and um, I think it turned out really good.
Anyway guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to also hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.